Hey, welcome back. This is Joshua Jarvis with AtlantaShortSellListings.com, and today I want to talk to you about where you get your information as a consumer. Part one, we covered how agents typically talk about how they get information from a loan officer uh, or someone they say at the bank uh, that really doesn't know what's going on. They're just really trying to build that relationship by act, acting like they can offer help. Um, and typically, loan officers do have some pamphlets and stuff they can hand out to agents at this point because everyone's complaining about short sales. But short sales is actually pretty easy. Um, one of the things that, uh, that the other thing that is kind of frustrating is where consumers get their information from the homeowners. First of all, you get it from TV. Now, the TV is going to tell you that you can do a short sale without missing a payment, yet the federal guidelines say that you've got to be 30 days behind. Uh, you're going to get information from the bankruptcy attorney. The bankruptcy attorney gets paid by you doing bankruptcies. So he's, he might be a little bit biased there. Um, we'll talk about the short sale realtor. That'd be me. So you want me to do your short sale? I'm a buy. I'm biased too. I don't get paid unless you want to do the short sale. I don't charge for loss uh, for loan modifications. I don't charge for any of that other stuff, and I don't charge you an upfront fee. So the only thing that happens, I only get paid is if you do a short sale and you actually go from start to finish. Um, the other places that people get information is from their friends and their family, um, and this is definitely a, a dangerous situation. Unless that friend or family does short sales day in or day out. Um, or it works for a bank, the loan loss mitigation department is probably not the best person to go for for information. And then lastly, the bank. The bank themselves can sometimes be, um, we'll just say they might not give you the best information. Uh, for instance, if you call SunTrust right now and you listen to their line, it says uh, make sure you say current, never listen to anyone who tells you to miss your payment. Um, you have to understand something. The bank, you owe the bank money. Okay, that, that was paused for dramatic effect. You owe the bank money, and everybody else that I've just mentioned that equation does not. Um, so it's important that you go get information on how to protect yourself and understand what the bank is willing to offer. The bank is willing to work with you, but you've got to learn to jump through the right hoops. You probably need somebody to help you along the way, but I said do your own information, uh, do searches, look for .gov sites, look for FHA sites. Um, check out the actual guidelines. Download those PDF files that are like 60 pages and read them and you'll find out like the Mortgage Debt Forgiveness Act in 2007. There's so much confusion on that that you need to read it yourself so that you understand that when someone 1099s you, it can be a very disastrous financially thing and it could be bad and it could be the best thing that ever happened to you. So, uh, at least as far as the situation is concerned. So thanks so much for watching and check us out on AtlantaShortSellListings.com for more information.